Why, hello, guys, and welcome to my podcast. This is actually the first episode of it, as obviously you can tell. Um, So, I'm still working on the whole call-in or text-in portion of this podcast, so it won't be up until I want to say maybe the third episode or the second episode, but today on First Chantians with Chance, we're going to talk about my first time coming out, which actually is a rough topic for me to talk about, which I'm surprised I've never talked about on my channel before. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. So, I was actually in middle school when I realized that I wasn't straight. So, the first time that I came out was kind of forced upon me in a way because of how, like, I don't want to say that I was a stupid kid back then, but I, in my opinion, I was a stupid kid back then. Like, I was gullible, more gullible than I am today. Like, I think I've gotten better at that, at taking care of it. Um, definitely not the best way to come out, in my opinion. So... The first time that I started realizing that... So let's actually... Press the the brake. I'm going to actually tell you guys, like, not... Like... Straight to... Not getting straight into me coming out. I'm going to build up to it, okay? So, if you guys think that I'm going around it... I'm not. I'm just going and explaining like what led up to it and that kind of stuff. So also, so I pretty much was not the kid that always fit in. Obviously, not a lot of us do in middle school. We're still trying to find out, uh, find ourselves. Sorry. We're still trying to find ourselves in a lot of the crowds. We don't know exactly where we fit in. I had uh, my two friends that were always riding with me on the bus to and from school. So if you guys know anything about Homestuck, not Homestuck, um, forget what it was. Hmm. But we were, um, it was with the countries and whatnot. This is actually going to be, um, so the bit that I'm talking about now is dealing with like countries and whatnot and how they were people. So I was always uh, given the country Poland, which is known to be a out gay character in the um, bit. And so like the more I thought about it, I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. Like, I don't feel straight. Growing up, I always felt as if I was not supposed to be a guy. So, because, wow, this is going to be a lot of editing. Due to the fact that my mom actually had miscarriages for girls and the fact that I was born gray with the umbilical cord wrapped on my neck and I was practically almost born dead. So, yeah, I felt as if I might not have been meant to be born a guy, but meant to be born a girl when I was growing up, but... Now I've definitely come to realization of other stuff that we'll get to later on in the podcast. Well, later on in this episode, I should say. 
Um, so back to where, back to middle school, I know that was off topic. We pretty much came, like I pretty much came to realization that I wasn't straight and that I was actually starting to feel attracted to men, but I still felt attracted to women. Just not in the same way, I should say. Yes, I had a girlfriend in middle school, but I came out to one of my teachers telling them, uh, letting her know that, hey, I'm bi. And she was really supportive of it. And then I, I, I also asked my mom, hey, I think I might be bi. I'm definitely. And so I pretty much was letting my mom know that I think I might be bi, which I pretty much already knew that I was at that time and so she was like okay whatever and then so i ended up creating a fan page for one of the hunger games characters at that time and i started to message somebody on that account and in a way, I guess we started dating and he told me that he was 14. This is where I'm telling you that I was a stupid kid back then. I started talking to him and he told me that he was 14 when he really wasn't. Evidently, my when my mom found out that I was messaging him on my phone, she had, I guess she has an FBI friend or something. And so she tracked his number, found out that he was 29 and lived in the neighborhood when really all that we were really doing was role playing. Like it wasn't really dating. It was more of like role play kind of messages. And so that... I wouldn't really consider that dating. Now that I look back at it, it was more, like I said, role-playing messages and that kind of stuff. Like, I would be PETA and he would be Kato, that kind of stuff. But when she originally um confronted me about those messages. I didn't say anything about it. I just played dumb. Well, not played dumb, but I was like, oh, we're just talking this and the other, da 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 And so, When I confronted him about it, he lied about it and said that he lived farther away instead of in my neighborhood, which was very creepy that like I would end up talking to him of all people that and he ended up living in my neighborhood. But whatever. It's not like I would have ever met up with him is what I was always saying. But either way. But when my mom confronted me about it and pretty much said that it was wrong and this, that, and the other, I literally felt forced to come out and say that I'm bi. And my mom and my dad literally rushed into the kitchen and started talking this, that, and the other. And... My mom came back into the living room and said, You don't know what you are, this, that, and the other, the, 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 like, kind of telling me that I'm wrong and that I'm still going through puberty and that's the hormones talking. When really, I already knew 
what I was. That I was attracted to men and attracted to women. But fast forward to high school when I really realized that I wasn't attracted to women the same way that I'm attracted to men. For men, it's more of a sexual and emotional attraction, but with women, it's just an emotional attraction. So, like, I wouldn't be able to have sex with them, and that's where the whole thing uh of me realizing that yes I might still be bi bisexual sexuality is a spectrum and just because I wouldn't have sex with a woman doesn't mean that I'm not still bi like that's it's not all about sex it not everything's about sex and so I still Like, it's easier for me to just tell people that I'm gay, but I still know that I'm bi. Like, I still explain to some of my friends, hey, I'm not actually gay. It's just easier for me to say it like that. I'm actually bi and just would never have sex with a woman. Other than that, I've... My parents, yes, they do accept me. But do they accept all of me? No. My pa- my mom literally has told me straight to my face, oh, you can be yourself once you move out of the house. You can be, you can do makeup this and the other once you move out of the house, but don't do it in- while you live underneath my roof. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up and accept my passion. And you're not going to take that away from me. But after my coming out in middle school, I came out again in high school through theater. We were showing a play called The Weight of Words, which I played a gay character who was beat to death. But that, in my way, was my way of coming out to my high school like the like I was glad that I went to that high school instead of my home school where because I did have a very traumatic middle school because I was another again dumb and asked my like one of some of my men like guy friends like I came out to them with a note saying hey I'm by would you be willing to go to the 8th grade graduation dance with me? Like, how stupid could I be? Like, they started creating rumors this and uh, about me, which was another reason why I was glad that I went to the high school I went to because I was able to start over again. With that, I was able to actually spread out more and make better friends to have a better environment where I was able to be myself and express myself more. Other than that, it wasn't that terrible. Like high school was still terrible. It just wasn't bad in that way. I had my first boyfriend in high school. I want to say my sophomore year, like the end of my sophomore year, like my first boyfriend in person. Like I w- did have long distance relationships. Um which is a whole nother story in itself. Um, I was able to find my own like group of people. Don't get me wrong, I was able to fit into a lot of uh, social groups, but it was just that main one that I'd go to. And in fact, my high, my class ring actually has the equality symbol on it, like the equality flag, because again, I'm bi. Um, and then just recently I came out as non-binary, which actually relieved a lot of pressure off my chest for some reason, like it 
Like, it definitely feels right for me to say that I'm non-binary. My pronouns definitely are he, they. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I became more spiritual just, like, a couple months ago. So, on a higher level, I actually have had glimpses of my spirit. So, I've definitely seen that th I don't have anything down there and with the, like, spiritual level. And then there was another glimpse where I saw my past lives, which is another thing that I believe in is like reincarnation. But other than that, everything was like after middle school, I already like in a way found myself a little bit more. So I was able to express myself. So it wasn't as bad. It was worse in middle school because a lot more people were picking on me. Um, one for being coming out as gay Two, also, I came out as uh, bi to my parents who still didn't accept me for being bi, so it was rough in middle school with them. I pretty much wasn't in the right headspace in middle school to say that I was finding myself in the right crowd. I really, like I was, found my people in middle school because they were my friends, but I wasn't in the right headspace due to the fact that one, my parents didn't, I'd already said that they didn't accept me in a way. And two, because people were picking on me and I couldn't go to the counselor because then they'd talk to my mom and be like, this, then the other, speaking of the going to the guidance counselor, the fr people went, went to the guidance counselor because they thought that I had a crush on them. So my parents would bash me for being like, you need to stop telling people that you're bi. You don't know what you are. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. I do know what I am, and I've been that way since. So, ma'am, get the fuck out of my space. And quit telling me that I don't know what I am when I do. So it was just a whole entire thing in middle school. People telling, uh, going to the guidance counselor. Also telling people that I ha evidently had a crush on them when I didn't. Like, honey, if I had a crush on you, you would know. Just because I gave you a letter don't mean jack shit. I said as friends, which I meant as friends. So don't take it too personal. And also, I never really took shit from people. I like I towards eighth grade, I learned not to take shit from people. I was just done taking shit from everybody, and I uh, didn't really uh, take it personal, like I just said. Other than that. People would pick on me because of my voice. Like, I, if you've heard my voice in person, you would know that it's pretty deep. Like, don't get me wrong, my customer service voice is, Hi, thank you for coming to Target. Like, or thank you for calling Target and Okotobi and da 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 da. But, like, I raised the pitch of my voice be to sound nicer because I've been bitched out by a, get a customer at Dunkin' for his being like, you don't have to have an attitude. Well, ma'am, it's not an attitude when it's my real voice, so shut the fuck up. But, yeah, I'm still getting it, uh, a lot of the, like, the call-in and text-in number, trying to get that set up for you guys. Other than that, I'm... Here, this is going to be the a podcast on YouTube, so you're going to see a video version of it on my channel, and you're going to hear the audio portion of it on, I want to say Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Spreaker for, um, and then... Thank you guys for coming to the first episode of First Chances with Chance. I'm so glad that you guys were able to come. 
Um, so don't forget to leave a comment down below if you guys are on the uh, the video portion of it on my channel and I will leave my Twitter handle so that you guys can actually DM me on there with all of your comments and everything for this podcast. Bye guys. Love you.